Hey guys, so this is my grow out pen for my rabbits and currently it has quail in it. We went and picked up 12 quail. They were very good price and they are six, week old, six weeks old so they're just starting to lay and I wanted to talk about bone yards. As we've been tidying things up and as we've been working, oh they already laid an egg. I gotta show you this. They look like little dinosaur rocks. Or at least that's what they make me think of. I have an egg. Um, I think it's really important to have a boneyard and for those of you who don't know what a boneyard is, it's a space where you keep things that you're not currently using. Now this is built 100% out of my boneyard. I used some shelving units. They worked strangely. I had to create all sorts of funny ways to make this work. It's a tarp. The tarp is made out of an old sign uh, from the side of the road. I guess the tin is from my father-in-law's calf hutch, calf shed, and then the feeders I have are from old yogurt containers and the water is from um, cat dishes. And I just, I love them. I just wanted to show this to you because sometimes I think we have this Instagram vision of what farming should look like. I'm sorry that my... There we go. I'm sorry that it's too bright. We get this idea of what it should look like from Instagram. These, this metal, we just took off the rabbit hutches because I needed to take them and turn them into tomato cages. I'll show you that. So here's our bunnies. I'm just using cardboard. Now we need to be brighter. There we go. I'm just using cardboard for them to stand on, but I need to take that cardboard out now because it's getting nasty. And, um, but it gives them somewhere to sit. I didn't have to buy anything for the rabbits to stand on. This is a second hand cage, but I can also make um, tomato cages or I can make gates to hold the raspberries safe from the ducks. I have so many different uses for these materials. And what it does is it allows me to be creative and it allows me to be independent of the feed store and of the of Home Depot. Hi, Bunny. And so this is made out of college, uh, college kid shelving materials. It's not my favorite because it is not um, versatile enough. It is not strong enough. The holes are not small enough to be able to put moms with babies in here. You could put bucks in it. And I did put bucks in it, and that's why it has wood instead of wire in between the two, is so that bucks can't fight. If I have two bucks, I could put one in each. This is a much better cage for rabbits. It's much more versatile because I can put any kind of rabbit in it and they would be safe. And if you have snakes, or if you have rats, or other kind of small predators, you have to have a cage like this because the gauge of the wire is thicker but the holes are small all the way around. It's all the same size. It'll let manure through, but it won't let predators in. Uh, these cages are for, from Hostile Hair, and if I had a choice, all of my cages would be these cages. But it's taking me time to rotate them out, if that makes sense. So you can see that it looks a little bit crappy right here because I have all this wire and stuff that I have just pulled off this old rabbit hutch, and I can use it for something else. But the tidier you can keep your boneyard, the better. It makes it easy to find things, and it also makes you feel better about yourself because it doesn't just feel like trash. But what I really wanted to do was keep these cages. They're not perfect, but they're incredibly versatile. They're so ugly, but they're so versatile. And um, I need to repair them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that better wire that I have that I took off the old rabbit hutch and I'm going to fix doors and I'm going to um, fix feeders so that they're not wobbling and so the kids can get in and out of it and we're not having rabbits get out and escape or quail. So even though it's not pretty, it's so functional that I never could get rid of it. That's the funny thing to me is I really wanted to. <laughs> My dad really wanted me to get rid of it too. Everybody wants me to get rid of it because it's so ugly, but it's so functional that even though I am somebody who likes to get rid of things that um, are too much, 
to take care of. I haven't got rid of them because they're functional. Hi, duck. You're so funny. So, by saving wire, I can make cages that keep my ducks out of my strawberries. By saving old, sorry, by saving uh, the parts to the old rabbit hutches, I now have a cage around my raspberries. By saving the top of a mannequin stand at the mall, I made a work table that now doubles as a picnic table. By saving the old wood that was part of the deck that we hated, we built in the smokehouse and the summer kitchen. And there's very little as far as these materials that we purchased that haven't been used in multiple ways. So under here, I wanted to show you one other spot. These are, this is my other spot for the quail. And once again, you can see it isn't fancy. It is not fancy, but I am trying to find out what will keep them happy without being too expensive. Scoot over, little one. Let me get you some food in. I have made them feeders, but I don't know if they figured out how to use them yet. And when I told Kaya she could have a quarter cup of food in their dish, she took me very literally and kept the quarter cup in there. Whoops. And we'll see if they like that better. And when you have kids, all your stuff is going to look trashy, no matter what you do. All right, so this is the quail cage. This is the cage from Hostel Hair that's specifically for quail because it's low, it's not real, it's not real deep. We'll see, they, they look like they have figured out the feeder, so that's good. And um, I don't see another egg yet, but we'll probably have quite a few tomorrow. We have 10 hens, so that's 10 a day. And we have a special quail egg opener now that I'm excited for to try. And they look pretty good. They've only been in here since about 9 o'clock this morning, but they've settled down really nicely. The one adjustment I need to make is I need to have plastic over the tops and along the back so that if it rains, they're not getting wet. That's the only thing I need to change on these ones. And we got um, Coturnix quail, but not the jumbo kind. And the progress is coming along on the house. The progress is coming along on the house. I have windows that are ready to be finished out, and I, I'm just really happy how things are coming along. They don't go through very much food, and ideally I'd like to have them out in the greenhouse. They're much happier, they go through less food, and they really enjoy the bugs. But at this point, I need to let them get adjusted, and I would need to retrofit the greenhouse a little bit too. So, there they are. I do include a how-to on these type of poultry in my um, poultry books, the ebooks on Etsy. So I'll put the link to that and also the link to the Hostel Hare. He is an affiliate of ours and I really enjoy his cages. Eventually I would like to trade all my cages out to be like this, but it just takes time sometimes to do that. So anyway, we'll talk to you later.